Hello guys, it's another review from the Androidica and those who are on our Facebook page would have already seen the text review of this ROM however in this video I'm going to do an in-depth review of this ROM how it is, whether you should shift from CM7 if you are on CM7 or CM9 if you should shift to this ROM and if it's worthy of the upgrade of the, from the previous Rohan 007 ROM or the anti Villas ROM so let's get started if you would have seen my text review, you would have seen I have mentioned that everything is working over here. So that's pretty true. Like nothing is left over, no real bugs in with the apps or the functionality of the ROM. Everything works, the camera, the video camera, etc. All works. There is not much lag over here and there. As you can see. It's pretty much smooth. However, a few standard things are still missing like the voice search and the gesture typing on the keyboard. It just doesn't work and I don't know why. Like, let's type it out something over here. Say Google. Oops. There you go. Nothing came up. So, I guess the developer should fix this thing as it's a pretty standard thing the more important one would be the voice search the voice search still doesn't work up till this release and i don't think that developers are looking into this of making the voice search work in google now or as a standard thing anyway coming back to the main room everything works pretty much normally i have installed the into x plus uh, script the tutorial for installing that would be in the next video however on installing that as you can you will see I have increased my internal memory so this ROM is pretty much smooth however on installing a lot of apps in using this script this did lag a lot and I mean it lagged a lot so I had to remove some unnecessary apps from my phone and now it's again pretty smooth like the now as you can see the total space now is 0 0.94 GB over there this ROM has been upgraded to Android 4.2.2 which is the latest version of Android again. There you go, it's the Android version 4.2.2. However, there are not much visual upgrades or any other noticeable upgrades in this ROM either. Because it's upgraded from 4.2.1 to 4.2.2. However, I don't see any noticeable upgrades out here. However, if you will see that the notification area is not transparent. A needless improvement, I guess. I don't know if it is for 4.2.2 or if the developer had changed it. However, I really like the total black notification area, had a different appeal to it. Anyway, the notification bar is still thicker than necessary. I could I tried to change it with a theme, however, again the phone lagged on installing a touchless theme. So that's a drawback I guess. Because the phone lagged on installing a theme. I mean that's pretty much not done right however everything else works the Wi-Fi the USB connections the USB tethering etc all works I didn't try out the Bluetooth tethering so I can't really say about that I hope you will some of you will try it out and report it on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page so that's all about this video if you're on CM7 I would say that you can transfer over to this ROM if you are no, uh, not using this ROM, not using this phone as your only phone because there are some lags here and there that might bug you or might bug some of us like the, some delay in opening up the apps, some delay in open, popping up the keyboard etc so there are slightest lags that may you know irritate some people and may, they may not find it as a usable daily usable ROM so for those people you should stick to CM7 as because this phone is never, was never made to run on Jelly Bean or the ICS so whatever ROM it comes it will lag a bit here and there because this phone is best suited for Froyo or the Gingerbread. However even CM7 lags here and there now and then so if you are an enthusiast and if you are looking out for trying new things you can definitely try out this ROM as it's a good one and pretty much very stable and usable as a daily ROM except a little lags here and there 
which is pretty small but may affect someone. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.